God of War, Ragnarok, Combat lets you play with your food. Exclusive gameplay by Game Informer. Let's run it. So this trailer is 1 minute and 39 seconds. Kind of a little teaser, a little taste of the God of War combat. Let's jump in and dive in. We are going to grade it like a standard trailer. It's about a standard trailer size. So let's, let's feast. Let's feast on it. Hey, play. Hello. It's Hello. Jay from Game Informer. Hey, Jade. God of War games are known for their expressive, gritty action, and Ragnarok Ooh. looks to be no different. In fact, two lead combat okay. designers told me their process is inspired by a okay. bad studio catchphrase. Froze them, play with threw your them food. off. And you play can see how food. Kratos lives up to that philosophy. Grappling legends oh, with his blades of chaos, okay. and launching opponents with the two new Dauntless and Stonewall arm shields. Oh. Atreus assists the war effort by stunning with arrows, destroying obstructions, swinging okay. his bow, and summoning spectral allies like okay. in the last game. Okay. One big change that's pretty easy to miss unless you're playing is the new ability mapped to the Ooh. triangle button. Triangle by button. or mashing triangle, Kratos activates his weapon's signature move. Oh my god. With an axe or blades of chaos equipped, Kratos can infuse his steel with ice okay. or fire. Okay. These elemental moves called Frost Awaken and Whiplash Ooh. do extra damage by freezing or incinerating Let's enemies. go. Even though you're an unstoppable ball of rage, yes. one combat designer <laughs> cautioned that we shouldn't play with all our food. Some food can heat us pretty easily, too. Okay. One more info about the new this, reptilian creatures. This guy was shooting those. Uh, some of the play styles you can experiment with. Go to GameInformer.com slash GMW Ragnarok and be sure to stay tuned for more That's it. War videos. That's it. We will be reacting to all the God of War videos. There's going to be one again, I think, tomorrow. And then a, another one on the 6th, if I'm not mistaken. It says God of War Random Rock .com exclusive cover details. And that's it. So that's pretty much it with this trailer. There's nothing too much to kind of take out, take from this trailer. What, what I did notice off the back right here, we do get a shot of Atreus using some kind of a new magic i mean the g um the game informer logo is over here but i do believe we get another shot of that and that later on in the trailer where atreus is hitting this with an arrow it opens this up giving him access to jump up here and he jump attacks this guy like mid-air he jumps and then slams down the attack throwing the thing off him and then punching him down shield bashing him down and just wanted to crash down here and like break an ice that shit is badass that shit is badass i like this i like this a lot i like this this is something new that you could jump up like mid battle and use that as a way to like pull you up to keep the battle flowing it just seems so smooth and effortlessly to just do that and then again keep the battle up Tax flying, keep going. We see a ton of um, stuff breaking around the environment as well. Launching enemies in air, just like in part one. It definitely looks like um, Atreus is definitely older here, um, but it definitely looks almost like part one. Like a, a lot of the stuff, a lot of similarities of part one, you're definitely seeing here. A lot of new tricks has been added. I want to know what is up with this guy. This guy in the background is like glowing. Like you see, he's glowing the same thing Atreus used to blow up the wall with, like this wall back here. That same thing is glowing. So I wonder what the, what's that about? Is that's this stuff Atreus can shoot if you're looking at it or you're pointing at it with a certain direction on the D-pad or no, on the analog stick? I wonder what's that about. And then this is the thing that they were showing off the finishing move. If you tap triangle, it will show the finishing move stuff, and you could go ahead and slay somebody. Perfect. I love that. Again, making everything seem so smoother and cohesive. Pretty dope stuff all around. Knocking both of them in the air. Again, you see it again over here. But you see, it looks like a stone for him to read off in the distance to give him some stat points or to unlock something. He jumps down, attacks this guy. This guy is already in flames. It's attacking him with the ice. You can see the elemental damage on them as well, it looks like. Does he have that before he attacks him? So he jumps down. He has something else, it looks like, like flame. Yeah, he has a flame attached to him. And then he hits him with this. And now he has the flame and ice. He doesn't have the flame anymore. Now he has the ice. That's pretty cool. Not too sure if that was in the first game. The shield bash looks pretty cool. He's hitting the ground with a shield. He's telling Atreus to shoot this again. Once that's gone, he's using this to just run and jump. Get up there shooting Atreus. Shoot this again. 
And again, using the traversal smooth and effortlessly to get around to attack these enemies that are hiding up here. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nothing really else, though. Just, just attacks. I'm pretty sure they combed through this trailer and made sure there was, like, no super hidden secrets. There was another thing that Atreus could, um, it's this over here that's glowing green. It looks like maybe that's just going to be the stuff Atreus can interact with or something like that. Because, look, it's, it's glowing green, but it doesn't look like something to blow up. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is that about? We do see, like, two stuff up here. So maybe you shoot this, this breaks, and this, you get treasure or something. Definitely want to know what's that about. Pulling him, throwing him off the wall. The enemy's trying to climb up as well. That is insane. That is insane. So the enemy is trying to get up at a better angle. As you can see him running across. He's fighting this guy. This guy jumps up. Tries to get into action, but Kratos is fast and pulls, uh, slams him down. Oh my God, forget get over here. Get down there, bro. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. If I had to grade this, we are going to grade this. But as a trailer, I wouldn't say this is a trailer. It's definitely a gameplay breakdown. And it does its job. I will have to give this a 3 out of 5 because even as a combat you know, gameplay trailer or gameplay sneak peek. They could have showed tons of shit. We're talking about God of War combat, and you should show, like, a literally one minute of you fighting some regular run-of-the-mill enemies. You know what I'm saying? Not to say they had to give away a boss fight, but there's tons of mini-bosses or dope shit that they could have showed Kratos using doper combos or doper moveset. To, you know, to to fight these guys off. And the, the fact that it's just like only a little bit of them. Wait, 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 wait. I just noticed. We got an answer. We got an answer right there. We got an answer. L later on in the trailer, I said there was this thing that looked like a Atreus could shoot that was lighting up. We got that same thing right here with this guy that's on top of it. There's an enemy here. So if he shoots this, this whole thing blows up. Check that out. He's telling Atreus to shoot that. He gets hit, but this breaks. And then this guy falls and he takes some damage. That's pretty cool. That is dope. That is dope. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And that's what's shining on the ground. It's just an enemy. I thought that was something else. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're getting our answers answered. Still three out of five. I wish we would have gotten more. We are going to get more tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to be about the combat. I think it's going to be about the environment. I could be wrong, but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I think this is pretty cool that they're doing this. More information about God of War. Any information about God of War, I'm, uh, I'm hype. I'm excited about. Kind of wish we got a long, just like 30 minute deep dive state of play, but Obviously, God of War right now doesn't need to sell us. It was it's gonna sell regardless. It doesn't need a, a state of play to kind of sell or get people in. I think a lot of people are gonna you know stretch the idea of this basically being a glorified DLC. It does look similar. I'm not gonna hold you to that, but again, until we have it in hand and playing it, we can't make that decision. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there too. We can't make that, um, we can't say either way if it is or does it feel like a DLC or does this feel like its own game. We need to go in, you know, run through the, the gamut of the story as well as run through the gamut of the combat and see if they added a tons of stuff that makes it significant, that makes it stand on its own. And I think it is. I, from the little we've seen, I'm impressed already. And even though this trailer didn't blow me out the water, I'm so ready for God of War. Let me know what you think about God of War Random Rock in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, and God of War Ragnarok. Again, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton. As far as moving the videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.